Hello everybody, this is Zebo and welcome to today's video. So as usual, people will always drop by my stream or put comments in my videos asking me what are the heroes on the banner up as well as which hero they should go for. So in today's video, I'm gonna answer all these questions all together and let you guys know what are the heroes you guys should pull for based on your personal needs. Just in case you guys haven't figured out yet, the four heroes on the hero up banner are Idol Captain Eva, Scientist on the Beach Sohi, Future Knight as well as 8 Tail Fox Nari. So let me start with Scientist on the Beach Sohi. So Sohi doesn't really perform that well within guild raids but she does pretty well against other PV contents which requires you to clear room pretty fast. That's because her weapon skill has an AoE chain lightning light ability that allows you to damage up to 3 enemies at the same time. Although Sohi does very well in room clearance because she attacks very fast, but I think that's not where she shines. She shines in the PvP content, which are namely your Colosseum as well as your Arena. So in Colosseum, she's there to target Mark 99, Gabriel as well as Future Princess. So since the three of them are very solid unit within Colosseum, I think if you want to counter them, then she's a good pick for that because you just chase after them within the Colosseum. And for Arena, I think she does a good job right now because like I mentioned, she's just an awesome counter to all the light units because she just goes after them and hacks them so in terms of arena you can treat her like a basic bath but slightly more defensive so very very straightforward unit in terms of her shelf life i think if you are a melee team player then i think so he will last very long as long as princess is a thing because you will need an answer to princess and since you don't play range right you will probably need a strong melee basic unit to counter the many strong light units out there so the next unit on the list is Future Knight. And I think Future Knight is the most worthy overall compared to the many others on this list simply because of the different things she can do. So number one, she's awesome for guild raid within basic team because of her basic resist down. At the same time, you can equip her with many different elemental guns and she can do a lot of damage within guild raids. Other than that, I think she's an excellent unit in arena simply because of her unique party buff which enables you to run a lot of different comps all at the same time. So versatility is a thing within Master's Arena and I think Future Knight is really good at that because you can pair up with the likes of Veronica, Lucy. You can also pair up with the likes of crit hit units, right? Such as Gabriel as well as Mario. So this will allow you to buff up your teammate by giving them faster weapon skills so you can chain your opponent more easily. And overall, I think Future Knight is in a very stable spot in terms of shelf life because I think unless they introduce another unit with the same party buff of weapon skill regen speed, she won't be getting replaced anytime soon. Now moving to the next unit which is 8 Tail Fox Nari. So Nari is still one of the best guild raid units you will want in your team because she does so well in terms of boosting your team's overall damage. And in terms of arena, I think she's still pretty solid. Not as strong as she used to be because there's just way too many dark units out there. And the usual crit range team, including herself, is not that powerful. I know that because I'm the user of that team myself. So I think overall, her power level in arena has dropped a lot. But she will still be one of the go-to plus range attack unit in the Masters Arena if you need one. And she's still very good against Princess as well as Mark 99 as well. So yeah, do consider that if you want to invest in Nari. Now last unit, Idol Captain Eva. So Idol Captain Eva is a very situational pick. She's good in Colosseum as well as Guild Raid if you're running a basic team. But other than that, I think that's all that is for her because she's basically like a support unit at this point. She doesn't hit as hard and she doesn't survive as long as the other range unit. So at this point, if you are focusing on Colosseum as well as Guild Raid and you need a basic attack buff in your party, then pull for her. If not, I'll definitely recommend you to skip for her as well as her exclusive weapon. That's it for this video. Hope you guys like this video and this video is helpful for those of you guys seeking to find out all these different answers for the Hero Up banner. And do remember to leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel in order to see more contents from Zebo Gaming. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!